Welcome back design students. In this video we're going to begin modeling the letters and the other objects of our neon sign. So let's get started. This neon sign is kind of, it has continuous letters so I'm going to suspect that it's not actually an old style neon sign. Old style neon signs are made of glass tubes and each color is usually a continuous tube. So what happens is there's a gap here so the tube will come up here, go around this way, stop here and then bend down and go over to the next letter and do this and there's usually a gap in each letter so that the tube can continue onward so i'm going to simulate that on my letters and i suggest that you do the same so i'm going to use the ep curve tool so we're going to go to create curve tools ep curve tool and i'm going to click and begin to form my letters I'm not doing a very good job right now. Now after I click each point, I sort of drag a little bit to see how the curve is going to behave. I think I'm going to stop there. Now notice how it's really difficult for me to see my curve because of the brightness of the reference image. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to unfreeze my um, image plane. And then I'm going to select it in the outliner. And then I'm going to come over to the Attributes Editor. And in the Image Plane Shape node here, I'm going to find Color Gain. And I'm going to drag that down so that the image is not quite so bright. And that will enable me to see my lines better, especially when I'm editing them. So I'm going to edit this D. You can see the line's kind of messy there. Right-click and switch to Control Vertex. And then... Um, Kind of move these things around, straighten them out. Now when you have a corner like this in this D, you don't want it to be a straight up like right angle corner. You want it to be a curve because remember, neon signs are made of bent glass tubes and that's what we're trying to simulate. Okay, so that's pretty good. Once you get it smoothed out like you want then you're going to switch back to oops I got to freeze my image plane again once you get it like you want then you're going to switch back to object mode select your uh, path your spline and go to create sweep mesh and you should get something that looks like that now if you did not resize your grid and make your image plane much larger like I did then um, your tube's going to look very large and much too big. That's why I did that. That and so it won't go into Unreal Engine messed up. So once you create the Sweep Mesh, select it and go back to the Attributes Editor. Click the Sweep Mesh Creator node and adjust the precision. Not too much. And the profile if need be. and always cap it. And then the last thing we want to do is smooth each mesh by going to Mesh, Smooth. And we only need one iteration. And then we want to delete the history of each letter so it detaches it from the curve. And then we move on to the next letter. Now for something like an O, we do have circles, but they are continuous. So I'm going to use something called the uh, three-point arc curve tool. And in your curves surfaces shelf, it's this tool right here, or you can also go to create curve tools, three-point circular arc. So I'm going to click once. Remember, I'm going to leave a gap down at the bottom of this O. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to click once here, once where the top of the arc should be, and then once where the bottom of the arc should be. And it makes a circle, or an arc, around those three points. And once you click away from that, you end up with a line. Now you can edit it by going to Control Vertex, but there are a lot of vertices here. I think I'm just going to leave that alone. I might um, actually scale it down just a little bit. And then Sweep Mesh.
And I don't really need to adjust the precision very much. I don't think I need to adjust to this one at all. Cap it and smooth it. And then delete the history. And move on to the next letter. You can see how these two points here are just too close to each other. That's why they were behaving that way. Sometimes they do that and I don't really understand why. Now, sometimes you may end up creating two sweet meshes. I think that's what I did here. See, there's one of them, and there's the other one. I don't need that one, so I'm going to delete it. This is the one I want to keep, so I'm going to delete the history. And move on to the next letter. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me do this, uh, so I'm going to end this video right here. Then I'm going to come back, and I'll show you how to make some of these other shapes here. And I'll see you in the next video.